former quote from U.S. President George Bush. Former U.S. President George Bush, in one of his public addresses, commented on the New World Order. It is a big idea. No nation will give up one iota of its sovereignty. But the communication and the way in which things will be done will be different. Today we will be discussing the second beast of Revelation. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this second video in the series of the Beast. The topic, the title is Men and Women Just So, Corona 2. And the message, we are going to look at one, the Beast 2 of Revelation. And we are going to look at the fusion principle linking beast one and beast two, principle of repetition and enlargement, and also ellipsis. And three, the image to the beast. Revelation 13, 
11 to 15. So this is the scripture we will be looking at. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. So the eight beasts will come out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spoke as a dragon. So we want to look at the deceitful quality of that beast. Alright, so deception. Very important all along the way. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. So the eight beasts will exercise all the power of the seventh beast, which of course is a fusion. Alright? The eight. So the second one will exercise all the power of the first one before it. And cause the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast. Okay? Whose deadly wounds was healed. So remember the first one will get going to perdition and they will um it will be healed because of the influence of the second beast. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire to come down from heaven and on the earth in men's sight, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of men, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, so there be an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. All right? So this is the fusion here where this, the, the first beast will fuse into the seventh by the power of the second one. Um, and then we have spiritualism and mysticism, which will be works, all right? Which will be highlighted um, in between these beasts. And he had power to give life unto the image. So the beast will give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast to be killed. All right? And so the beast will make a... The, 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 this, this beast will make an image to the first beast and it will give life unto the first beast and it will cause all to worship the first beast. Remember, this is a, two different types of kingdoms there. Eh? Alright, and so we'll be looking at a lot of the deceptive qualities and spiritualism or mysticism as the works. Now, the beast, the lamb-like beast of Revelation 13. History identified that beast as America, which is in a governmental system. Eh? Now, in AD 1798, two significant things happened that seemingly connect these two beasts, the first and the second. Now, what we had was we had the American independence in 1798, so they had the national constitution, so they have the power, okay? And then we have um, Pope was captured by Gautier in the French Revolution, so that Pope went into position, I mean, and it, that system was a bit wounded. That the first beast, right, was wounded, but it will be healed, and it will be healed through the influence of this second beast here, which rises out of the earth. Okay, so let's look at the discussion now. Now, we want you to remember. That the first beast, this lamb like beast, started out good, but it changed along the way. Alright, would you remember this? So the earth had the, the woman. Now, Revelation 12 14 to 16 says, And the woman was given two wings 
of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, wilderness unto her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman. That earth that helped the woman is the second beast. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. So we are talking here about the Christians in Europe who were persecuted by the first beast. Alright? Now, the church in the wilderness, the woman we said ran into the church into the wilderness for 1260 years. Now, one time is equal to one year. Two times, times is equal to two years, which is 720. This is a Jewish count of a year 360. And half a time is 180, which will give us a total of 12,000, I mean 1,260 years. One day for a year equal to prophecy. So we're talking about this frustration of the Christians for 1,260 years by the first beast in the persecution. Now history research tells us that the Christians migrated to hide out some of rocks and caves and mountains. They traveled hundreds of miles on foot, horseback and train to get to the seaports, to get to seaports to immigrate to the United States. And the journey lasted about one to two weeks. And this is according to teacherscholastic.com. Activity tour. Alright, so here we have it. The Protestants coming to America from persecution in Europe, which will be uh, the European states, including England as well. And some of them came because of famine as well in case of the English and many wars of religion that were being fought. So they fled to the United States. And so we have the Labour Statue of Liberty which welcomed them. And you see we have um, the court here with the ships coming in. Alright. So the little beast started out well and rescuing opening her mouth to swallow up the flood of the dragon right because traveling and they traveled safely over to the united states which give them a safe haven all right now now satan is vexed Satan is vexed because the woman is saved. Now, Revelation 12 17 reads, And the dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus. So you're talking about this, the, the, the church which is supposed to maintain the pure qualities. So, all right, so now we're going to be looking at the fusion principle with beast one, the influence of beast one on beast two. All right, beast one was the um, in Europe. We have that beast in the Vatican. We identified it in the last video, and now we have the um. So we'll be looking at for the discussion. We'll be looking at crusades, exploration, and mission of beast one. 
schools, colleges and universities set up by Beast One, spiritualism and cult influence of the Beast One, the Jews, uh, Protestantism and the United Nations. So these are some of the areas we'll be looking at. So we are starting now with A. We are looking at who says exploration and mission, schools, colleges and universities, spiritualism and cult. Now, this one when set out, because remember the woman is rat, the dragon is rat, so they, 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 she got out of his hand and flee, so now they're going after her. So they sent out church crusades, all right, we had a lot of church crusades going out on exposition, so they go in search of new territories, acquire new lands, and the United States was also one of them and they established churches and of course with so they will continue to spread the doctrine and then with the establishment of schools, colleges and universities um, they will bring in human resource and personnel, curriculum, credentials and, and influence okay so that they will, they will be contributing to national development through education. Now that's very important because that's a lot for the Protestants to be grateful for, for which will help to break down and neutralize Protestant anchors. Okay, because remember the whole battle is the Protestants are originally against the beast, all right? But with the influence of the beast with its schools and universities and even, you know, government and so on and we have spiritual spiritualism cults spread among colleges universities and houses of government so what you have is now you remember we had a deceitfulness now element that is going to come up in the works of the beast through these schools and universities and houses of government all right so all we have is these orders um, Jesuit orders. We have the Knights of Columbus, the Knights of Malta, Rhodes Scholars, Illuminati. Well, Freemason, it is said, is of British, alright, but by now they might be quite mingled and there might be other things. This is really not my area of highlight. I am just putting things into perspective and I, to connect the influence of the beast. And this source of information came from believer by the believers.org slash Jesuits. And, and, and we also had um, a video by National Nations Annihilated by Fatima and the Global Lockdown, the Remnant TV on YouTube. I listened to him. All right. And how does these orders work? Because this we're talking about. Um, the plan of the first beast, right, working on the hand, on the, with deception, um, is working with these orders, these Jesuit orders, okay, and so on. So how does the orders work? Now the three forms, according to the same BibleBelievers.org, um, recited like bearers of darkness, and um, that's the Christian Book Club of the United States. Um, and I, I, I got a lot of information for this video from that reading. The three forms of initiation um, individual, group, or universal, all lead up to conscious or unconscious control by a central power. And we, that central power is important, who in some mysterious way makes its influence felt. The system in all three is the same. So the central power, the system, is Kabbalistic. And that's where the Jews is going to come in. Secretly, here and there, individuals are prepared. These again form groups or centers from which influences 
spread until they form a network and um, that is where also the United Nations is actually going to come in with this network when we get to be um, all right, and so the members join entities posing as friends, but they are informants. All right, so and what what are, what is the old condition? You see, so um, the members of the various orders make pledges and take oaths to the Pope. All right, where where are they are taking these orders? They are legions to the Pope, sealing these oaths with their blood at the altar while taking communion. So, we are talking about this piece one here. Alright? So, they seal them. So, everything is done is in, is, is reflected on piece one. Okay? And so they are sealed their allegiance to the Pope. And they sign their allegiance to the Pope. They also they seal it with their blood. Alright, so at the altar while taking communion. Now, White in 1904 warns that Satan will appear as Christ through the influence of those secret societies. And that came from testimonies testimony to the church, age 28. Alright, so this, this system is very important because the whole system is worked to introduce Satan right in the end. Everything is leading up to that. So now, we, we come back here to this first altar, just to represent um, where they taking the oath, okay? So, this is the Pope's altar here, all right, and basically they're supposed to destroy the influence of Christianity, Protestantism, all right, and all heretics and everything that oppose the paper system, okay. So they take these oaths here, again we see the cup, remember the cup, the, fit, the cup of filth, so what you find here, ladies and gentlemen, represented in this cup is heaven and hell, um, which is great corruption. How you can have the two of them together? That's exactly because they're taking these words, um, thinking that they are actually working on behalf of Jesus Christ. All right, when they take these words to the Pope, okay, and they're supposed to destroy Christianity, destroy the um. Protestantism and so forth. And then I remember the last church here, which represents the pure church in Revelation chapter 3. Okay, that one will also be in the picture. So here we have an example of an Illuminati pledge. I call it an Illuminati pledge and Corona 19. Alright, I want to look at it very carefully. The pledge says to honor and respect. The Agua Tofana, that is an imperceptibly slow poison, as a sure, prompt, and necessary means of purging the globe by death of those who seek to vilify the truth and seize it from our hands. But again, it comes from BibleBelievers.org. So ladies and gentlemen, this truth that you're talking about here, eh? This truth is not the same one that the Christian is preaching, eh? We will see this, we will see it. This has to deal with um, illumination and deification. Of, um, you know, getting immorality, immortality by their own, um, by their own strength, technology and robots and so on. So, um, what you have here is um, the, the, the earth population could be a threat to them because the population is increasing and they need space. So, the plan is to kill people. So, Corona 19 is no incident, it is really a plan. 
And let's just look at the, the dictionary um, meaning of came to vilify. To say or to write unpleasant things about someone or something in order to cause other people to have a bad opinion of them. Ladies and gentlemen, so they will destroy the people for that. But ladies and gentlemen, let, let us look at electrical shock, right? Now, when the information that is given to you about electrical shock, isn't it good information so that you will be protected uh, from getting the shock and saving your life? Well, that is exactly it. The, the Bible is supposed to expose the works of the evil one so that the, 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 the church itself, the kingdom of God, could be preserved and built up so that the people will not get destroyed with Satan. So we don't have, we have to look at it in the context of salvation from God and ignore Satan's threats. Now, would you consider a matter of life and death as vilified? Your life and death? You would rather later, when it is too late, say to us, why didn't you tell us? I think you are more intelligent than that, ladies and gentlemen. Now the second oath, which I call to flap, see, um, is basically having no mind. I do further promise and declare that I will have no opinion or will of my own or any mental reservation, whatever, <coughs> even as a corpse. So we have, we have here the, 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 the belief of immortality of the soul the, the, the dead and the continual amen. So in other words, even in life and death, you will have no mind. But will unhesitantly obey each and every command that I may receive from my superiors in the militia of the Pope and Jesus Christ and of Jesus Christ. So this way you have a, a deceptive fusion looking back at the, the altar when he cup, the Pope and Jesus Christ in the same cup a deceptive vision ladies and gentlemen Jesus Christ cares he cares Jesus Christ came to set prisoners free Jesus Christ gives self what to individuals, not take it away. Jesus Christ gives personal growth through experience and it has a lot to do with mind. Jesus Christ enhances mental health through free, responsible thinking, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see more of that in my videos, Who is Jesus? Part 1 and Part two. All right, so now we're going to look at the part that the Jews play. All right. Beast one is still on the influence of this one and this two continuing. So we're talking about you said all the system is one central and it leads to Kabbalism, right? So we're looking at the Kabbalistic Jews. Now we go all the way back to the Bible in terms of Jesus with the Pharisees, and this is really where it's stemmed from, okay, in terms of the um, the Jews. And so, in the times of Jesus, what you have was these Pharisees plus Roman interplay. And that, that is how Jesus Christ was killed. Alright, the Pharisees, the Jews, the Jews, the Pharisees, um, plus the Roman interplay. They killed Christ, they killed Jesus Christ, and we had a lot of persecution of the Christians. 
it was these Kabbalistic Jews. Um, Jesus Christ referred to them as the Jews of the synagogue of Satan. And we also see wherever mention is made of them, we see the persecution going on with Christians. All right, so these are the people. Now, Jesus did not mix with that false system, okay? Notice that Jesus Christ was born secretly on the outside, all right? And uh, we saw, um, so the, the Jews, they said they, they did not recognize when he came. And Rome also was seeking to find him and they had persecution of the babies. And Jesus was homeschooled. He, he never um, mixed with system. And so Jesus did not seek approval from the false system. He told them plain and simple, I do the works of my father. All right? And today we have Israel plus America, our allies. All right? No. We just link in. No, we have the U.S. Jews contribute to the U.S. national income. All right? The Jews own medical systems, schools, businesses. So they contribute to the national um, income. Also, they contribute to mysticism. All right, we had a Talmud, of course, which will spread the, 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 the Jewish doctrine. And one will be surprised to see what is done to Jesus Christ in that Talmud. All right, of course, they have the synagogues, and the Church of Satan is also connected to them. And Halloween, which is a big national economic festival in the United States. Month of November, a lot of monies are made, you know, so they are contributing, contributing. All right, and so we have a lot of the spread of mysticism coming out from them because the the reading prior says that um, the Kabbalistic Jews is central, is a central system. Okay, going on further, the history of mysticism. Um, unknown, and we coming back again to BibleBelievers.org, AU slash Jews, HTM. Unknown to the members of these various secret societies, this will be the um, the Jesuit secret societies and so on. Um, it could be Masonry too, could be seeking illumination and deification. That is what is the truth, ladies and gentlemen. The quest for it to immortality. The masters are the Kabbalistic Jews, the originator of Gnostic mysticism, a Luciferian grand plan of world domination. So, ladies and gentlemen, Satan claimed his right to this part and he used all his systems secretly get his aim done but the people are unaware of it now this takes us back to the book of acts and revelation one to three with the seven churches where we saw mentioned the jews of the synagogue of satan um, active in persecution of christians and that was the first series of satan corona trust company Okay, um, and ancient connections. Now, the prophet Daniel says, This one has qualities of all the kingdoms before it. Babylon and Revelation 17 5 terms the first beast, the woman of the first beast, right with the little, I mean, right which represents the little horn beast, mystery Babylon. Okay. So deep darkness, spiritualism going far back, and also media Portia, which was the kingdom after Babylon and Greece. So the the um, this piece, the 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 the, 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 the mysticism go far back. So we're talking here about false gods, false indoctrination, mystic cults, and this is all because of. They're moving away from the commandments of God. Look, commandment one, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Commandment two, 
thou shalt not bow down to them, nor worship them. And of course, commandment three, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Alright? So, when you say you belong to God, and you mix in Christianity, you must be honest. But remember, the system is deceit, so it's blending in the Christianity with the false system. So, it, it comes as appetite on the plate. It's nice. You don't recognize it. Okay? Ethics related. The players are part of a locked-in system. They dream they are free, original, self-determining individuals. And that again, BibleBelievers.org.aug.jshoots But are caged in by Satan and may be longing, and may be longing for freedom. Um, and that is very important, ladies and gentlemen. People might be doing very evil things, but inside of them, they might be longing for freedom. And what I would like to let you know is, Satan does not have total control over you, except you fully want it that way, but you will be exposed to Jesus Christ and his eternal life for you to make a decision. So all these moments are moments when you come in contact for decision making. Jesus Christ will set the captives free. Alright? Satan could only, only do what he is um, allowed to do. But there are limits. Remember I said that earlier on. Jesus has the keys. He has the authority over him. Now continuing the system, continuing the same um, BibleBelievers.com the system may seem to be an insidious and secret dissemination of ideas, orienting and breaking down all barriers of family life, religion, morality, nationality, and all self-initiative thought, always under the cloak of a new and more modern religion, new thought, new morality, and new heaven and a new earth until it evolves a gigantic robot, merely answering to the will and come illumination and deification minds of a secret mastermind. So ladies and gentlemen, these robots that we see Coming into existence. Yes, seriously now, these are the symbols of the immortality. That's that's a serious business. Alright, and we go after them in the technology because of course new development. Ethics continued. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we will have to then Pope Francis Lord that will see will seem to be deceitful in relation to its promises of family life so if we have breakdown religious integration and freedom and cultural diversity environmental rejuvenation and economics right this is a world without end cause um thing that is given a world without concept package, a world without end package. What Jesus Christ promised, ladies and gentlemen, that this world will end up. Satan package. Remember this Satan is warring against God and he claims all the people are his. Alright? So these are his deceptive promises. But Corona 19, it surely exposes us to the fact that all these blurring things that we are looking at seem something seem to be very wrong with them and um in relation to the religious integration and freedom um that one well that one um okay i don't know if i said it too early that one came in into the religious systems of the protestants through the um 
the introduction of religious liberty in the churches. A lot that that department was used to spread um, some of these papal aids. Here we come here talk to Oli. This world domination system seems to be the mastermind behind the technology and Corona 19. Evaluated from our current lockdown and curtailing of rights and harsh online working, schooling conditions and worship from homes as well as talks of forced vaccination of the world population which is non-medical logics. I don't want to go into that. We hear a lot of that on the net as well. Um, there is a lot of psychological and psychiatric upheaval relative to Corona-19 fluid from a combination of factors and destructive situation. So there's all this glare and glamour behind the idea. Inside, deep down, we have destruction going on among the, the people. So could one could good reason fully endorse this system? Ethics continuing. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, as the Bible says, the rages are part of city's debt. Alright? We might have been ignorant of these things, you know, but Corona 19 should open up our eyes to the reality of things, all our perceptions. That will have been Satan's summons. So, Satan alone would have been summoned to death. And faith, if humanity did not fall to Satan's temptation in Eden. So now, hell was not prepared for man. Hell was only prepared for Satan. But Satan, warring against God, claims he ought to be his, and the people, and hence, he would take them to hell with him. He doesn't care, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't care. However, Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior of Israel, and the Gentile world, remove this black and white issue from you because God is not concerned about black and white. God is concerned about the people and the content of the characters. So, Jesus, the Messiah of Israel, who was God's representative, the pure church, in the beginning, and the Gentile world, the strong and mighty warrior in Daniel and Revelation, holds the key of death and hell, and will unlock the gates of dead sins giving them eternal life along with the living saints and the second coming of Jesus and we saw that in the previous video then God will take care of that old devil Satan and his angels who have deceived the world for almost 6,000 years and you can see more on this on my videos the role of the resurrection in crisis king of kings and spinning top in mud Ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to jump on the salvation train. Um, and it, it will be too late then to know and become responsible for salvation decisions and changes when Satan bows to God before the universe at the second resurrection, according to Revelation 19 and 20 in the Bible. God gave you a free mind. Use it for your protection to receive eternal life. No. And you can see my videos, but one and two. What does God say? No. Right. My videos, but one and two. And what does God say about me? Many people are locked into these satanic systems because they do not know otherwise. Right, but as we see in the last video, Jesus Christ called him. The people, those of you who are Satan among you, he said, repent and overcome. Mm -hmm. 
So we have image, image to the beast, Revelation 13, 14, and 15. That was one of the major readings, image to the beast. So, I'm just reviewing, reviewing that, that um, that scripture, it says, the beast, which will be beast two, will make an image to the first beast. It will give light to the beast, and it will empower the image, it will give light to the image, sorry, and will empower the image to command worship to the first beast. And do, and they will also command the image to kill those who do not obey. All right. So we are going to be looking at two important vehicles in the image in in the beast image game plan: United Nations and Protestantism. Now we have a, a note here: Jesuit oath to overthrow right. Jesuit make the oath to overthrow Protestant government opposed opposers to Rome, heretics, Christianity, etc. Eh? So that was just um, a little preview. Now, so United Nations, and of course, this is a symbol, and we have some other. Well, the international. This is the main symbol, and all the other regional, international, regional, and uh, local uh, bodies will be inside of the symbol. Okay. They all carry the same symbol, but they will be inside the symbol, except for the sort of the way to. Alright. So the system is fed from the, a whole line of bureaucracy top coming down, right? And the dissemination, a disseminated network. Now, the United States and the founding of the United Nations. August 1941 to October 1945 and this came from the the, the state the government website yeah That's the government website um, security national security website I think so the UN was found. The founder is U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt. The agreement was signed January 1942. They the Atlantic Charter Declaration of United Nations. And the aim was preserving international peace after World War II against the Axis powers. But this is very important. These Axis powers was Germany, Japan, and Italy. Now you see Italy is being underlined because Italy, Rome is the capital of Italy, and the Vatican is also in Italy, right? Now the member countries, so in other words, these Axis countries oppose them, these are opposers, alright? And so they link together against these countries. Now the member countries, these were United States, Soviet Union, United Kingdom, and China. These, these were the main countries. And you have 32 other states. Now I have a very important question from that document. Now the question goes like this. How did the Vatican become the major state player in the UN when it was an enemy? Yes, it was part of Axis, the Axis power, Italy, was an enemy, alright, they opposed, but look at it, the Vatican now is the major player in the UN when it was an enemy, and you're talking about this thing started in 1942, that's just an initiation beginning, so the current agenda of the UN is Pope Francis Lavato C. So ladies and gentlemen, what we see here is the same principle of the, the scripture, the deceitful nature here 
coming out, alright, of this. So let's look a little bit more of the United Nations. The United Nations headquarters is in the land of the lamb like beast of Revelation 13, which gave light to the beast with the little horn of Daniel 7 and 8. So this is the little horn here we talked about last week. Alright. And this is the same woman, this little horn here is the same woman with the cup, the golden cup in her hand on the arm. Um, Riding on the scarlet colored beast with seven heads and ten horns. And this is the same little horn that's bringing all the corruption. Alright? So now this little beast here, this lamb like beast of Revelation 13, and made an image to the first beast. You know, they command to make an image to the first beast. So, right, so this here is acting. On behalf of this one, which we have a fusion. So when the scripture says the seventh, the eighth, sorry, is of the seventh. This is the same thing we're talking about here. Alright? So the seventh going to condition and the eighth is a fusion of the seven. Okay, so this is the headquarters and the UN implement the Vatican agenda, which is Pope Francis Lodato C, which is actually running the, the world the, 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 um, the new world order and so now the UN and forced governance now joining from the management of Corona-19 or COVID-19 one is forced to ask the question is the UN a Jesuit organization now what do we have strict policy strict policy management this corona 19 absolute obedience no exercise of freedom we are confused but you have limited freedom fine and jail for penalty all right so you can find differently all right i think our fine was a thousand dollars and i think a year imprisonment or something like that you have food utilities and banking banking slash finance essential and then you have the immediate, unlike adaptation in education and business, immediate, all right, post adaptation, online adaptation, right? So we see here, um, while the corona is going on, the agenda is being solidified, okay? Now, the UN situation removes genuine power from the hands of genuine politicians. One can be forced to act against one's own will as well the will of one's nation. No wonder there is so much secrecy in politics. Alright? So we understand. Alright? And um, there's a classic example we have with the, the African um, representative to the UN, right? Who was, who was um, fired um, because she did not go ahead with the agenda. And um, you can't have your own mind in this system where you have to make a decision, okay? But she was strong enough to be able to, and then after she is leading with the African um, unionization, unification of the Africans. All right, now here we have Protestantism. Protestantism. All right, now this one. Now the Protestantism, remember, linking back the Protestants. Now, all the American history. Now, European Christians slash Protestants fled to America to be freed from paper persecution, famine, etc. You know, a lot of wars in Europe. <clears throat> now, the question how did these two help the woman clothed 
with the sun and the moon under her feet. That is the same pure church that represents. That's Jesus Christ's church. Alright, the one that Satan was persecuting. Now the first amendment of the constitution grants freedom of worship to the protestants. So the protestants who lost their right of worship in Europe got that right in the United States. And also the US Constitution empowered them, the Protestants, with a voice of defense, which was very important. Alright? Now, and of course they were very um, important in government and so on. Now, Protestants could use that voice of defense to influence government by voting as well as being elected to serve as part of um, the government system. Now note, ladies and gentlemen, Protestants' influence could in fact change in the Constitution, eh? Because they have the power. Now what went wrong with Protestants? Or let's say Protestantism. Now, going back to the history, when the Protestants arrived on the continent, they made the Indians, right, who were the original um, people in the United States. Now, the Protestants left their first love as Christians. When they became strong, economically, materially, socially, and politically, and in my head now, I am recalling um, the Prophet White's um, and um, description of the United States where she said the whole place was dark, she had all darkness, you know, and with a stream of light, you know. So there was a lot of work to do. So the protesters left their first love. No, and they became corrupt with the involvement of slavery of the Indians and the involvement with the African slave trade, that debilitated slave trade which actually corrupted them. So, what we have there, because of that loss of first love among the Protestants, that was feeding ground for Satan. In the, in the first case, it was Satan who was doing work among them. It was good feeling ground. They were lured into spiritualism, cults, ecumenism, vain philosophies, etc. And they were in, and that situation influenced them to make changes by using them as agents. So Satan or the same Jewish um, gestion system of the people, you know, they influenced them to make changes by using them as agents. Because you neutralize yourself now, Christianity come like water, you just like us, so we they use them. <coughs> Alright, image to the beast. Thought I could make this thing work very fast. Image to the beast, Protestants now. Now question, what is the current status of Protestantism in relation to the papacy? Now on February 24th, 2020, Protestants signed the Ecumenical Chapter 1 Holy Catholic Church. Now, February 24th, Corona was going on in. Corona was going on in China. So they signed, the Protestants signed in, in um, I think it was in Rome they signed. Now, Satan's seat, remember ladies and gentlemen, that's what is in the paper seat. The Bible said that Satan gave the beast a seat. So, the woman riding on the beast with the seven heads and ten horns with a golden cup filled with corruption to mystery Babylon is the church in apostasy. So, what when you sign this ecumenical chapter one um, 
holy Roman Catholic church. One holy Roman Catholic church. No, no matter. Let's see what happened. Now the question, what message is protestants given by shining the allegiance in the paper C? And the answer, protestants have formed an image to the beast by signing their allegiance to the papacy. They have given over the protestant world into the hands of ownership of Satan. Remember, beast one is a fusion of Satan, because Satan received. Beast two is a fusion of beast one, equals Satan. So, protestantism is a apostasy having the same lifestyle as the beast. Now, when, oh, let's see what's going on here. What happened? Now, this was all facilitated eh, by the United Nations. You see the same man here. Eh? Now look up here, World Interfaith Harmony Week 1, February 1 to 7. Now what happened on that date here, that was the celebration, that was the celebration of the um, annual um, Interfaith Week. Alright? This is where, as I was saying before, the churches with their religious liberty was connected to that whole scheme all right and it's facilitated by the united nations all right now some prophetic warning warnings relevant to corona 19 era that satan do not want the world to hear let's hear them now what did the prophet to the church clothed with the sun and moon under her feet, which is the pure church, said is the image of the beast. Now White, E.G., 1888, um, under the topic, The Impending Conflict of the Great Controversy, pages 623 to 626. And this is the prophet there to that church. She says, clinging to the papal era of immortality and man's consciousness in death, they have rejected the only defense against the delusion of spiritualism. You see what I'm going to say? What you think is not important, what you believe now is extremely important. Doctrinal critique is important. What you believe is serious. Because of the era of immorality, immortality, the way that immortality of the soul, right, and man conscious in death with that poverty tree, all right, they have plunged, they have been plunged into spiritism, all right, and the doctrine of eternal torment has led many to disbelieve the Bible. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we believe is important. We need to examine them. Through the true great errors, the immortality of the soul and Sunday sacredness, Satan will bring the people under his deception. But we are going to mark it in the next video, so this will come up with the Sunday sacredness. So we see here the immortality of the soul, that belief in the poetry and the quest for eternal life. By the own means and Sunday sacredness, Satan will bring the people under his deception, and we see it's it's coming in. You must see the corona. While the former lays the foundation of spiritualism, which is the immortality of the soul, the latter creates a bond with Rome, which the Protestants have done. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is done already. You know, they sign. What you sign? February 24, 2020, all right, the protesters of the United States will be foremost in stretching their hands across the Gulf to grasp the hand of spiritism. Like with Rome, 
They will reach over the abyss to clap hands with Rome, with the Roman power. And under the influence of this threefold union, this country, America, will follow in the steps of Rome in trampling on the rights of conscience. Something very pertinent, very, very pertinent information, right? They have already they have already signed. Alright? So it's just a little bit a little bit more to go. Alright, trampling the rights of conscience. And we already see some of this, so this could really be like an observation to see how the thing will work. Corona 19. Protestants and warlings alike accept the form of godlessness, of, of godness, without the power. So we talk Christianity, but it doesn't have the power with it. They will see in this union a grand movement, and I think that movement is ecumenism, for the conver convers conversion of the world. I think that's supposed to be conversion. And the ushering in of the long-expected millennium. And we talked about that millennium in the previous video on one-day resurrection. Alright? Now, true spiritualism, Satan appears as a benefactor to the race, healing the diseases of the people and professing to and possessing and professing to present a new and more exalted system of religious faith. But at the same time, he works as a destroyer. And we see that in a psychological and psychiatric condition that is going on now, ladies and gentlemen. Here with Corona 19. Alright? While appearing to the condition, the children of men as a great physician who can heal all their maladies, he will bring disease and disaster until populous cities are reduced to ruin and desolation. What is happening in Corona 19? What is happening to the African countries? Are we hear them talking about their situations? Ladies and gentlemen, it is it is here before our eyes. Alright? And the devil is talking about me. He will put things in the air. Alright, you see how they cannot every time they say they come close to this vaccine, there's always a mutation. All right, okay. Isaiah 24, 5, 4 and 5. The earth moaneth and faileth away. The haughty people do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Ladies and gentlemen, Which woman fulfills Isaiah 24, 4 and 5 conditions? Transgress the laws. And by the way, any one of them could transgress the laws, eh? Anyone. But, but this one, change the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant. That has to do with the sanctuary speaking great words. And Daniel talks about against the sanctuary. This woman in apostasy here. Yeah, which one of them? Which one of them fulfills it? The church in apostasy? Or the pure church? Of which Satan is out to destroy. And these to this one, the apostate church. And we saw this apostate church in Revelation 1 to 3. Satan have the seat. And all these works and this one, right? This one here is really the work, doing the works of the dragon to 
goodness, try this one, ladies and gentlemen. So open your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. You know, open your eyes. Now, wooden's nest in the pure church. That's the one I miss. Wooden's nest, and I call it wooden's nest in the pure church. You know, wooden's nest, we only see when they eating up from underneath. Now, observation from the photos show that the remnant, that is the seven star of Revelation 3. Remember the seven stars Jesus holding in the hand, the seven star. The representative of Christ, like Israel bowl, the pure church, is sold into Satan's captivity by paper contract too. We have to tell you this the SDA official signing Ecumenical Chapter 1 Holy Catholic Church February 24, 2020 Corona is going on in China and the signing of giving over the authority of the Protestant world including the pure church onto Satan So we have the wolf and the sheep shaking hands. And I can remember this picture in uh, my early video on um, watch, watch one and watch two. So wake up! God has not given us a spirit of fear. God has not given the members of the pure church a spirit of fear, but of love and a sound mind. Now we have here the three angels message, three angels flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to them on the earth. And that is the mission of the pure church. That is the mission that they should be preparing the people for the coming of the Lord. And we're going to hear these messages now. And what you find happening with the, the Jesuits infiltration in the church have alright ladies and gentlemen that one is small talk based upon what um, I had experienced before wanting now who will stand as messengers of the third angels to the world Revelation 14, 6 to 12. To harvest, to gather the harvest of the souls for the kingdom of God. Now, what are the messages? The first angel's message. Pray God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth, the sea and the foundations of water. Call on the people back to the worship of their creator. And we see that another one come up in the next video again. With what if you're worshiping him, we have coming back the Sabbath. Alright. And so if if everybody, if the people had obeyed and followed that, we, we would not have atheism. Alright, but you know Satan has his place. The second, so we fear God and worship the hour of his judgment is come, calling us to responsibility for our actions. Ladies and gentlemen. Second message, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, that's a woman he called, because she had made all nations drink of the wine of the rod of her fornication, the cup, corruption, heaven and hell in the same cup, expose Satan and the beast, ladies and gentlemen, if we don't know that, the whole earth will be doomed. And you see, what I like is the fact that God, you can see the people, you know, God fights through the people and the people are waking up, the people are woken up, you know, from their deep sleep. You know, we see Africa waking up. We see a lot of the people in the American people, people are waking up to the realities and the real world of what is actually taking place. And because the people are waking up to fight, God is empowering them to fight. So then, God will fight for us when we get up. Alright? We have to be awakened, ladies and gentlemen. We have to expose this. Otherwise, we all come to hell. So we have to expose.
Well, look at it there. Expose. And the third angel's message. If any man, that's in the next video. If any man worship the beast and his image. So we talk about the image. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. So in other words, you will not get salvation. You won't. And verse 12 says, Here is the patient of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, we have to awaken the, the world to the fact of keeping the commandments of God. Alright? And then a part of the mission. To gather the people. You know, pull them out. Just say, pull, pull them out. Alright? Pull them out. Alright? So that they can be saved. Ladies and gentlemen, it's very better us know because they don't understand. But um, it, it is important that these things are exposed so that the people will be, be given an opportunity to be pulled out of the grabs of Satan and destruction. So we have some poetic, some prophetic assurance for the pure church. You now, white prophet says. God's church will be shaken. Yes, they are tightly shaken and appear to fall. But weak and feeble though she may be, it is the only object on earth which Christ has fullest regard. So ladies and gentlemen, Satan is strong and mighty. You know, with, with blows on the pure church, the seventh star in the hand of Jesus. But Satan, though strong as he is, he will not succeed. The Bible talks about a remnant of a remnant. Alright? Which will do the work and complete the task. So here we have the Laodicea called the Revelation tree. We did that last week. The seven church two condition. Lukewarm, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Ladies and gentlemen, the theological, the theologians of the seven church, the pure one, this and what are the seed by wandering after the beast. No, 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 not all. Alright? But the system of the theology, not all. Then some of them became deceived. No, 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 sorry, the theologians. Why? Because of the quest for higher education. The theology was made into a science. Alright? So instead of faith in God and continuing the mission, they fed, they fed because they saw how the men were in higher degrees, you know, and the science that was put to things. They fed that they would be left behind. So they went in search of these higher degrees, ladies and gentlemen, forgetting the fact that it is God who equips those that he calls. And so they went in search. And some of them, some of them, many of them have remained. But what happened now? Because of the situation of, 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 of the, the sign, like Judas, like Judas in the company. And in this situation here, this is where we have the Jesuit activity. They joined them, right? Posing as friends. But they were walking against the whole system, change it. Alright? And so so they moved away from God's voice to man's voice. And who is the, the, the sister Satan? We had false indoctrination of some of them. Social status, alright, increasing that. Power, but we got hit in the end. So what did they do? They joined the beast and called the prophet a witch. And those who believed 
that your doctrine, you call them heretics. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus talked about um, giving an illusion eh, when we persistent, you know, in our minds, go after the falsehood. Eh? Yeah, and, and blow your eye. Now, the call continue Revelation 3 and Revelation 14, 6, and 12. But what, as I said before, is that some people in ignorance. You know, a lot of people don't think by ignorance, you know. You can have the greatest um, kind of sin as a result of ignorance. You saw that even the Apostle Paul, right? Apostle Paul, yeah. Went to the Jews with the enemy to kill the Christians, but God met him and he wanted him. So Jesus said to repent, buy pure gold and white raiment. Anoint your eyes with eyesight to see clearly. Repent. Complete your mission of the three angels' message to the world in preparation for the great harvest of souls for heaven as Jesus is about to burst the clouds. That is love. Psalm 126 says, Sow in tears, reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seeds, shall darkness come again with rejoicing, bringing the sheaves with him. So you're talking about, will there be any stars in my crown? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Yes Jesus will come to reap the harvest and return to heaven with the saints for 1000 years so right so we have the angels we did that in the previous video reaping at the second coming of Jesus when the trumpet sounds all right all right so ladies and gentlemen we have we have a, an ad here from King Jesus investments flight all right all of you a vacation ad by King Jesus investments all right, the ad flight seven 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 King Jesus investments. The ad one thousand years vacation in heaven above. Where where is it? Where is the throne of God? The rightful throne of God. One thousand years vacation in the rightful throne of God. The setting of the rightful throne of God. Tickets are free and they're still available. Alright, so we have the, the, the plane and the motto of King Jesus Investments. This world is not my home. And the mission, prepare for takeoff. So we said the flight getting ready there. Prepare for takeoff flight to your heavenly destination. And they call all on board. Ladies and gentlemen, the flight has taken off. Were you on board? All well, when we get to heaven, we will. The first thing we want to look to see is who among our friends. And all our network and so on, who were on board. And then after the 1,000 years, after the 1,000 years, we have, right, after the 1,000 years, we have 
Satan, for all our trust company, will be all trust in hell at the second resurrection. All right, and fire will burn them. All right, so all the beasts and his images. All right, and then now. We have right. Jesus would reign forever and ever as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I look and beheld a white cloud. And upon the cloud, one sat like unto the Son of Man, having in his hands, in, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a scepter. Revelation 14 14. Let's see you there, ladies and gentlemen, where we will celebrate. The great banquet. <laughs>